welcome back to microbial concepts so this is third video related to endophytes in first video we have discussed what are endophytes what are their significance uh, important applications in different kinds of fields and in second part we have seen what are the criteria that one should keep in mind while selecting a plant which uh, is to be used for endophyte screening right and in this video we are going to see the isolation procedure for endophytes okay so let's start so first thing is you need to select a plant okay now for that you need to watch my previous video where i have discussed the criteria for selecting a plant now once you have finalized a plant you have selected a plant you need to collect it okay say uh, you need or you are uh, interested in working with the leaves or the stem or roots or you can use all these three parts of plant for screening for endophytes it depends on your aim and you can design your experiment so it is not necessary that you always have to work with the stem or you always have to work with the roots you can use all three or one of it is also okay now the plant should be fresh and healthy this is very important then it should be free from any kind of infection and then it has to be stored properly to maintain its freshness that is the another point now once you have collected the sample you need to take it to your lab where you are going to work so preserving it or storing it properly is very important right then sample treatment is very important because you can't just use the leaf which you have collected from your um, collection site you cannot just come to lab and inoculate that in uh, media what you need to do you need to first wash the sample for example let's take here that you are working with a leaf so what will happen uh, there is a lot of dirt a lot of other microbes present on the surface of your sample so that will grow in your media and we we are interested in endophytes so to um, minimize the contamination and to just uh, focus on isolating endophytes we need to treat our sample properly so first thing you do is you wash your sample with running tap water to remove the dirt this is very basic and then you start treatment so first you will treat with 70% ethanol for 1 to 2 minutes then you will give a wash with sterile distilled water then with sodium hypochlorite you will treat it for 3 to 4 minutes and again you will wash it with or rinse it with sterile distilled water then again for 30 seconds you have to treat it with again 70% ethanol and then wash it with sterile distilled water so here uh, at the last step to minimize the chemicals to get transfer further you can wash it with three times with uh, sterile distilled water that means give three rinse of sterile distilled water okay and to confirm uh, confirm the disinfection you can plead the aliquot of sterile distilled water for growth okay so still if you get growth that means your uh, disinfection of your sample that means the sample treatment is not done properly it should have no growth or no microbes growing on your plate okay the aliquots of last sterile distilled water which are using to rinse your sample it should give no growth okay on your media plate then let's proceed for our isolation now so you need to keep in mind that everything is to be done aseptically means in sterile conditions so this is the sample which you have treated what you do you cut it into smaller pieces okay here we are talking about a leaf you it can be a root or a stem as well you cut it into smaller pieces using a sterile scalpel or blade okay then after that you use a forceps to lift it up properly and inoculate on a sterile media plate now here i am not mentioning which particular sterile media we you are using because it depends on your experiment if you are interested in just endophytic fungi then you need to use 
uh, media which supports the growth of fungi. If you are you know, uh, interested in bacteria, then that media. If you are just interested in actinomycetes, then that media. Okay, it depends on your aim. So I am just mentioning here sterile media plate. After that, after inoculation, you incubate your plate. Okay, so what happens? Suppose here you are uh, aiming to see what type of or what all types of endophytes this particular leaf of a particular plant has so it may happen that you may get mixed population depending on which type of media it is differential selective which type of media you are using it depends on that but assume that you get a mixed population okay that means towards the margin where you have cut the leaf the margin towards the margin you will see bacteria or fungi or actinomycetes, whatever it is present, whatever kind of endophyte is present, it is growing now. So what you do? You proceed for isolating each bacterial or fungal culture. Now, to ensure that uh, you, you are isolating everything that is there in the leaf, you need to perform this, this particular experiment in triplicates to increase the chances of endophytes uh, isolation. Okay. Then comes the isolating part. So once you have isolated the desired bacterial or fungal culture, you can then proceed further for say, if you are aiming for um, profiling the secondary metabolite that a particular culture, bacterial or fungal culture is uh, producing, then you can go for screening for uh, profiling for the secondary metabolites that the culture is Producing, okay. Otherwise, you can go for say uh, nanoparticle synthesis or say anti-cancer or antibacterial. Anything the experiment or your aim is to, okay. After that, you do that. So another very commonly used method is actually tissue extract. So again, you have to proceed in sterile conditions. And let's assume that here also we are working with leaves. Depending on your aim experiment, you can have your sample as stem or roots. Okay, so after doing your surface treatment, you will take your sample and add 5 to 6 ml of saline solution in sterile uh, motor and pestle, and you will ground it. Okay, you will ground your sample very well to get a very good concentrated extract in your saline solution. Now, you will use this saline solution for incubation. The purpose of incubation is actually to release endophytic microbes from this extract into your saline solution. Okay, and the incubation is to be done at around say 30 degrees Celsius for 3 to 4 hours. Now the temperature may vary depending on the sample which you have collected from the location where it was growing. Okay, uh, so after doing these uh, this incubation, you will further do saline uh, solution dilutions okay you will use this concentrated um, extract for doing further dilutions in saline suspension uh, saline solution and you will make your suspensions ready now it can be 10 to minus 1 and 2 or 10 to minus 1 10 to minus 2 10 to minus 3 depending on how extract how concentrated your extract is now you will use these suspensions for plating out on sterile media plates Okay, so you will plate 0.1 ml from the saline uh, suspensions on say at least three plates. Why? Because we follow these experiments in triplicates. Okay, so you don't want to lose any chances of losing any particular endophyte that is present in your sample but it has not grown. Okay, so you don't want to miss any chances of isolating a particular endophyte which is present in your sample. So that's why I always follow these experiments in triplicates okay so after plating out again you incubate your sterile media plates and then you see what all types of endophytic microbes are present uh, or are uh, they are growing on your plates and then you go for isolating them purifying them and then using it for further your uh, experiment or your purpose okay so that's all so i hope both of these methods are clear to you see which one works good depending on your skills see what kind of endophytes you are getting uh, or you can screen and isolate them okay so i hope this video is helpful to you 
do give a thumbs up do like my video do share these videos with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching